Traveling is a means to success. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected. Top Djibouti in food and dishes to try when you are in Djibouti. Djibouti sits on the northeastern coast of Africa on the Gulf of Aden at the bottom of the Red Sea. It has been a key port for trade for thousands of years and the traditional food in Djibouti has been heavily influenced by many different countries. Djibouti was once occupied by France and the flavors are noticeable, as are Indian spices, and of course, the traditional food of the countries that border Djibouti are also featured, Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, and Yemen. Skewda Haris, or Djiboutian Lamb Stew Skewda Haris is indisputably the national dish of Djibouti. Commonly prepared during the Islamic holiday of Eid al-Adha, it is made of rice, lamb and Ayurvedic spices such as cardamom. It can also go well with chicken, beef or fish. Again, it can also be served on top of laxo ox, though accompanying platters of brightly dyed rice are also common, served alongside grilled chicken and a buttery sauce called naitakipe. Fafa Fafa is a traditional soup originating from Djibouti. It's usually made with a combination of goat meat, cabbage or kale, leeks, garlic, onions, potatoes, hot peppers, coriander, salt, and pepper. The meat and vegetables are placed into a pot, covered with water, and gently simmered. After some time, the garlic and coriander are added to the pot and the soup is simmered until the meat is tender. Once done, farfa is typically served in individual bowls with kanjiro injera, flat bread on the side. The soup is usually made in the southern parts of the country and it's often served for dinner. Bari Asayo Kalyun or Digag Another exquisite Djiboutian dish is Bari Asayo Kalyun or Digag, rice with fish or chicken. A delicious meal that you can try with literally any kind of fish, and it will still taste incredible. Its secret? The right mix of spices. Laxo Ox, or Galette Djiboutienne For day-to-day -day meals, Laxo Ox, a lot like Kanjiru or the Ethiopian Injera, is the staple of every meal in Djibouti. Laxo Ox, pronounced Lahu, is one of the rare foods that is widely shared between Djibouti and its neighbors, Ethiopia and Somalia. Ideally made of teff flour and sweetened water and cooked until golden on the bottom, the Laxo Ox gets its spongy texture from little holes that form on the top when cooking. A very nutritious flatbread it can be served with runny butter or honey to start the day with, or can be dipped in dishes such as a meat stew called lokmad, or misiwat, a red lentil sauce dot can be. Djiboutian Banana Fritters This is one sweet treat that won't disappoint in Djibouti. You will probably try them as beignets de bananas made with cinnamon in restaurants across Djibouti city, but then you really have to try the original recipe where no milk and no eggs are added, only ripe bananas, flour and a touch of nutmeg are used. The little fritters are typically served warm dusted with powdered sugar or honey. Mukbaza Commonly used to refer to Yemen's traditional fish meal and its accompanying side dishes, mukbaza is actually a kind of folded bread that after being cooked, is cut into pieces and blended with honey and banana, or dates. Served as a thick puree along with some nuts, it is the perfect dip for your Yemeni fish, traditionally cooked over charcoal. Harira Harira is a lamb, lentil and tomato soup enjoyed in many Djibouti homes as a filling evening meal. It is often eaten with flatbread or pita bread, as well as hard-boiled eggs or fruits. This dish originally hails from Morocco and likely made its way to Djibouti along the many trade routes that pass through the country and were used by Moroccan merchants. Kambabur Unlike the habitual laxo ox, kambabua is made for celebrations or sumptuous receptions. Enjoy then this elaborated version of kanjaru, made of onion, garlic, corn or teff flour and enhanced with nigella or anise seeds, the mix is perfumed with curcuma, which gives it its royal golden color, then cooked and served with a fatty butter called sabag and sweet sour yogurt. Zulwo 
Zalwo, pronounced Halwo or Halva, which means sweet, is a treat made during special occasions such as weddings or Eid celebrations. Shibuti is the place to be if you want to try the delicious fried Somali buskut, biscuit, mondizi, fermented fried dough, or the generous kok kok made out of a rich date stuffed dough, baked with milk, vanilla, nutmeg and nigella seeds and served with powdered sugar or sesame. Don't forget to have it with some sha, tea, mixed with condensed milk, or flavored buna, coffee, with cinnamon, cardamom and cloves. Sabayad. Much like the Moroccan msman, sabayad is made of a dough of flour, water and salt and traditionally prepared the Somali way, in the shape of lightly fried squares. Djiboutians also make another kind of sabayad filled with onion and meat or chicken, called fadera. It can be enjoyed for breakfast with honey, or for dinner to soak up the rich spicy fuel, beans, or at lunch with a tuna salad, just like Djiboutians do it. Marik Kalaun. Made with a combination of fish fillets, often tilapia or sea bass, potatoes, onions, okra, eggplants, tomatoes, garlic, tamarind paste, salt, pepper, parsley, rice, and oil. The potatoes are browned in oil and then mixed with the onions, okra, tomatoes, eggplants, tamarind paste, and garlic. The ingredients are seasoned with salt and black pepper before they're mixed with the fish and rice. The mixture is covered with water, brought to a boil, and then simmered until the rice is tender. Camel Burgers Camel burgers are, quite simply, burgers made from camel meat, most popular in countries where there is a large population of camels. The meat from the hump is considered to be the most delicious but all of the meat is quite lean, rich in protein and contains less cholesterol than other red meats. The taste is comparable to beef with a slightly more sweet aftertaste. Sambusa also called samosa, sambusa is a perfect appetizer with which to start your meal. Treat yourself with these little crispy fried pastries that are usually made out of meat, onions and vegetables. Fried, sambusa are served hot with a spicy pepper sauce or for the more adventurous, with zuakar, a thick sauce made of tomato paste and grated vegetables. Naita kippe. Naita kippe is more of a seasoning rather than a dish. It is clarified butter simmered with spices such as nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, turmeric, garlic, or cumin. One Djiboutian recipe lists its ingredients as follows, unsalted butter, chopped onions, minced garlic, grated ginger, turmeric, crushed cardamom seeds, a cinnamon stick, cloves, basil, nutmeg, and fenugreek. Naita kippe is added to many Djibouti dishes to give them their special taste. It can also be used for meat preservation. Check before eat food is. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.